Hello there! You may have noticed that I've gotten myself a bit of an upgrade even since last last recording. Yeah, I've been in netherite mining and a bit of diamond mining, and I also may have got and done some stuff with with Archie's villager. Those are the out asking. Don't tell him. But for now, I am going to go back to I'm going to do my netherite mine eh, and see if I can get anything. I got all the way down here and then realized that there was something else I needed to do first. Haley, you see these shoes on my hands? That's for shearing sheep. Yeah, I'm going to do the bed mining method. I think this should be enough for now. So, uh, I picked up a few ancient debris. He ran out of beds, and now I'm just trying to a digger around manually. Surely I can find just one more. Still pretty crazy. Yeah. In case you're wondering why I didn't record any of the bed mining, it's because as I had to meet with my D&D &D party, only to realize that we weren't going to be doing anything tonight. Basically, yeah, I started recording without realizing in that, oh yeah, tonight it's D&D &D night. We ended up not doing anything, though. Love this. Instamine is so good. Occasionally obnoxious, but still so good. This is so satisfying. Ooh. Yoink. 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 And I think I've got one more at home, so that's ten. If I could find into more, or that'd be lovely. Yoink and yoink. That took way longer than it needed to. Just for reference, I should show you where I was as last time I it was as unpaused. I believe I was here, or maybe over here. But but the point is, I was a long way away. I traveled quite a distance. Now we're getting into the area where I started bed mining. Ah, oh, man. Oh! How did I miss that? I didn't even have to go back for more ancient debris. Well, I'm certainly not going back again. Not until I've got... Got more, anyway. Nah, oh, man, I'm quitting while I'm ahead before something bad happens to me. And maybe also filling in some of these holes a little, because that seems like the courteous thing to do. Still, 
This is the first time I've been bed mining. Things that... Since the later half of, like, season two. Now, that might not seem like much, but you gotta remember, at the end of season and two was, like, at the... The very beginning of the 1.17 days. Eh. And I literally haven't gone bed mining since, like, the early days of 1.16, which is, like, like... More or less, that's the, the last third, more or less, of season two. Because, you know, we, we began in 1.14-ish, eh, and went up and into a 1.17, so we lasted a very, very long time in that season. The last third is also with or a lot of our, uh, progress. This came from, like, we basically finished the main city, uh, uh for season two, like, the guild area. We, we finished the guild area in, like, like, the, in, like, the second and third. And then the last, the, and we basically did, or I say we, but mostly just in in a lot of the entertainment district. Like so, it wasn't until like the last third of the season when one dot sixteen was a thing that we we really had an entertainment district worth going to. Thanks, by the way, Justin. Eh. And uh, yeah. It was dur sometime during the at last third, or like at the very beginning of 1.16. That was the last time I did, did netherite mining, so that was back in like. I want to say. In the back half of 2019. Or whenever the nether update hit. Oh wow, I wasn't even recording for that, but uh, I kind of got myself turned around like an idiot. Eh. And wound up having to uh, deal with uh, a whole lot of piglins and hoglins. Let's hope I can keep from getting turned around again. Ah, there we go. Melting that right up. Combine these. That goes in the head case. Dump that in there. No, I had some soul sand in here. Okay, I had soul soil in here, my bad. Excellent. There. Actually, I think I'll 
I'll go for my leggings. After all, once I have an elytra, I'll probably never be using the this again. So I'd say it's a pretty low priority. There. Now, I know this is nowhere near the perfect armor, but it should it serve me pretty well nonetheless. Speaking of things that aren't perfect. Do I seriously not have any iron bar just hanging around? Huh. I mean, it's not exactly a big deal. I've got an iron farm I can take from, but still. There. Nice and topped up. Hmm. I'm also not sure what to do next. I do need to go back to the nether or for a couple of reasons. Mainly, I need to go grab some more, more warped stems and some crimson stems for later, but shush. But for now, I think there's something else that needs my attention now that I think about it. Now, you might be wondering what all this is about, and don't worry, you'll learn soon enough. But to make a long story short, oh, you know what, I should put my shears in that nether right up real quick. Ender chests are the best. How much time do I have? Uh, quite a lot, actually. Good. Now then, this area in here is going to be the next big expansion. For the uh, residential district. I mean, after all, it uh, does connect rather well.
<laughs> well, this is coming along nicely already. Now, I need to figure out exactly what I want to do with this, which might not necessarily be an easy feat, I admit. The somewhat irregular terrain of the area might make this a bit challenging, especially if someone like me who doesn't really work with diagonals that often. But, eh, I think if Green can do it, I have at least got a chance. I mean, I'm not as good as he is, certainly, but I at least... He's had of some decent amount of skill that I've mostly gained through watching him. Besides, this will give me an excuse to get out of my comfort zone a little bit. The real question is, will I be able to make, make this look a good? Not just, and I mean, not just presentable, but like, good, good. Like, really good. Hmm. Sorry. I think I'll start there. Turn this into that real quick. Do it of that. Going for um, sort of the same ideas and same pattern, although maybe yeah, I might break up the pattern a little bit now and then. Hmm. Uh-huh. Well, you know what? I actually kind of like how this is going so far. It's a bit strange. But I think I might be onto something here.
I think I messed up my pattern at some point. Well, I did say that I might break it up some. Oops, that is not what I meant to do. There we go, got that back. Yeah, I like this. Yeah, this could be be a decent and extension. I'm really feeling this. Whew. Look at my inventory, guys. I've done a lot of digging. And just look at what I've made. I'm still a little bugged out by how this turned out, but other than that, I think this is a really a good extension and for the residential district, such as it is. There we go. <laughs> well, this doesn't change one thing. I still need a lot more warped wood. This server badly needs a warped wood farm. And I need more storage space. Throw that there. Throw this in here. Where did this sign come from? Oh, right, when I pour it down the... Okay, yeah, okay. That should be there, yeah, okay. I decided where I should put my sticks. Might as well put them here. Mm-hmm. Well, I know what I have to do. I have to go back to the surface, and I need, need to put some of this in the community chest. Good grief. Just look at this mess. Nobody respects community resources anymore. This is shameful. Uh, I'm not even the only one who takes care of chests like this. Because people have just been dumping crap in it. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, 
And speaking of, speaking of community projects, I think it's the... And we replanted some of the trees back down at the farm because, um... It is way too weird seeing it so barren. The tree field is just totally gone. It's spooky. Yeah, I know, you need bone meal for these. Well, at least this helps a little bit, I think. Still, who tore down all these trees and didn't replant them? Whoever did that, that's not exactly in the spirit of the Farmer's Guild. Shame. The sheep are literally so populous that they're constantly keeping in the grass cut. Getting the herd around here might help reduce the lag a little. I mean, the, gl the lag isn't huge or anything, it's just, you know. There we go. Right. Let's grow us some trees then, I guess. I really he wants a light draw. There. Now this is looking like, like the farmhouse should look. Yum, yum, yum. Hmm. Now I need to think about what to do next. One thing's for sure. Uh, he really, really, he really need to try and get to add some crimson and warped wood. 
mostly a warped. We haven't really done anything with Crimson just yet. We haven't really done anything with the guild area other than me making the super smelter. I guess while I'm up here, and since it's basically the end of the episode, I may as well see if I have gotten any iron sails. Probably not. No, no, and no. <sighs> Is this where ducking? I guarantee you I'd be getting sales for this. Pretty sure that this is going to be a bookstore owned by a Jeku, but he hasn't exactly done much with it. And again, he's not on as often as he'd like to be. Man, that is so satisfying to watch. What's even more satisfying is the knowledge that that I built this th thing basically by myself. Like, sure, I had help getting the uh, getting the thing to work, but the actual like structure, or that's all me. Now, before I sign off, question of the day, can you burn Lu in our Luigi board? Now then, till next time, uh, bye bye